Welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's fountain pen video. How often have you been writing with your fountain pen and thought to yourself, man, I wish I had a pencil on the back of my fountain pen so I could just flip it over and write with a pencil. Where does it get those wonderful toys? If you're like me, never. There are double-ended fountain pens like the Pen BBS 469 that not only has two different nibs on it, it has two different ink chambers that allow you to write with two different colors of ink with one pen. As a former teacher, I immediately know multiple uses for that kind of pen. As a retired teacher, I don't even want to think about grading papers again, so no. You. So no Pen BBS 469 for me. But what about a fountain pen and pencil double-ended pen? I might not have a use for that, but what about others? Well, I gave this Magon N102 multifunction fountain pen slash endless pencil to my wife and she loves it. She's in the middle of editing her book for publication, pouring through her manuscript, writing, and making notes and corrections. Dip, 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 dip. She's found this Madge on N102 very useful. I took it back from her to do this review, so let's move quickly here because she wants it back. So let's take a look right now. And finally, this interesting pen has arrived. This one took a lot of doing. I ordered this back at the middle of November. It was part of that order that got sent to Halifax instead and then returned to China. And then I reordered the same pen. It's a Magon N102 multifunction fountain pen. And I ordered it on eBay. And it came slow boat because uh, this came through Britain. So from China to Britain to Canada. Let's open it up. And here's the case, Moon Man case. We've seen these before. MN10203F comes with a really nice little sleeve. Put the case aside. Let's open this up. A nice sleeve that says Magon on this end. And here's the pen, the Magon N102 multifunction. So, I'm not sure. I think that is supposed to be a pencil on this end. You have to figure out how to use this. Uh, Diamond-shaped pattern, a large band, a very simple clip. It feels very similar to my Pentel Carry, which is a very, very nice mechanical pencil. I've got a couple of these, and I did a review of this pencil, mechanical pencil. I think it's one of the best ever made. Uh, you can see that review by clicking right up there. Let's see what this does. Does it pull off? Yes, it pulls off and posts and becomes a fountain pen. It's a very slim fountain pen, and this is enamel over brass, body, brushed aluminum section. That's small, long, but uh, narrow, tapering, and a number five size Moonman nib never been enamored of number five size moon man nibs but let's open the section and we see the little push-pull converter which we've seen a few times from Magon moon man and we'll have to see how the other end functions there's a cap seal there too that's interesting nice positive click so is this <laughs> that's not a mechanical pencil. That's a, that is one of those endless pencils. I don't know how endless it is. Endless pencil. Magic pencil? Question mark. Very, very light line. You have to write with that and see how long that tip lasts. Very interesting. The Magon Moon Man N102 multifunction fountain pen and endless pencil. 
coming soon to a YouTube channel near you. I'll show the parts and features of this pen, some size comparisons and measurements, and then provide a writing sample. And then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen or this multifunction fountain pen. When I bought this pen, I thought this pencil was a mechanical pencil. You could actually see how surprised I was that this didn't take pencil leads in the unboxing. The whole endless pencil thing is new to me. And this N102 didn't come with any extra tips. So my first thought was, well, perhaps it is endless. But the graphite tip does unscrew for replacement and the listing for the pen on AliExpress shows that you can buy extra tips. So they aren't endless. I went to Amazon and bought a set of four endless pencils shaped like Lamy Safaris. There were two black and two white. I've given the white ones to my wife. Let's take out this one here. And it came with and it came with eight extra pencil tips. So I thought I'd experiment here and see how long these tips will last. It was a bargain at $10 for four pencils and eight tips. Unfortunately, the brass threads on the replacement tips don't match the threads on the tip of the Magon N102. So those extra tips won't work with this pen. But I thought I'd test this tip wear because the material is basically identical. I'll grab some rough sketch paper to do a time-lapse pencil wear test. The test shows that the endless pencil lead is much harder than normal pencil leads and wears much more slowly. But in only a couple of scribble lines, the point has a definite angle to it already. So long lasting might be a better moniker for these LEDs than endless or forever. So if you find these multifunction Magons useful, then purchasing the extra pack of lead nibs when you purchase the pen would be a good idea. Overall, the pen is about the size and shape of a Pilot Metropolitan without the horrible step down and with the added mirror ball in the center. It is enamel paint over a brass body pen and is relatively light at only 29 grams. From the top, we see the flat chrome top finial and then the cap tapers up to a beveled chrome ring separating the cap from the barrel. The clip is very Pilot-like in shape. Here it is with my Pilot 7G similar and yet it's relatively stiff although it can be used it's not very friendly the barrel begins with a large chrome band with a diamond shaped facet pattern that makes the pen sparkle with a bling that floats some boats and totes my goats after the saturday night fever disco ball The white enamel tip tapers down to the removable graphite pencil tip. The tip unscrews and you can see those brass threads. The cap snaps off with an excellent solid pilot-like soft clutch which goes soft, soft, soft and then clicks with a heavy snap which is very nice to reveal the tapering metal section and number five size steel Moonman super quality fine nib and black plastic feed. The section is a finely brushed, I would guess, aluminum, which isn't slippery because of that texture. It's nicely long, but gets very narrow towards the tip. And there's a small lip at the top of that section. Let's look a little closer at this nib. It's a typical Moonman number no. 5 size nib that we've seen for several years with the Moonman logo, Moonman super quality, and a small F at the bottom there for fine. The nib and the feed are part of a nib assembly which unscrews for maintenance or swapping. The section unscrews to reveal a push-pull standard international converter. The pen will accept standard international short cartridges. The inside of the cap shows a plastic cap liner that seals the nib from evaporation. The cap posts deeply and securely and makes the pen nicely balanced and a good length in the hand. Unposted, the pen is almost too small to write with. It is designed to be written with posted, I believe. I bought this pen on eBay for $8.99 US. It comes in three colors, black, white, and tan, and you have two nib options, fine and extra fine. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Magon N102 multifunction pen with a Pilot Metropolitan, a Parker Sonnet, a Bauer 388, and a Schaefer VFM. The VFM stands for value for money, 
which it is not. Now let's look at them posted, and here they are posted. You see the N102 posts just as deeply and just as nicely as the Parker Sonnet does, and the VFM cap doesn't post securely at all, it just falls right off. Now let's look at them unposted, and here they are unposted. You can see the N102 is the shortest of the lot, and I would not write with this unposted. Now let's look at some measurements, and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper, and this is the Magon N102. I mashed my numbers together. 102 multifunction. And it has a number five size steel fine nib. Let's check the wetness. It's nicely wet for a fine nib, and very, very smooth indeed. I'm surprised, as I don't think I've ever written with a Moonman Super Quality number no. 5 size steel nib that wasn't a total disappointment. This one is very, very nice. And the ink is Leonardo Blue. That's the line variation. Well, you can push out a little bit, but this is a very stiff Chinese nib. I should demonstrate the pencil here too. It has a very light pencil line, and I would characterize this as like a, an H or a 2H pencil in comparison with regular lead pencils. And this nib makes a 0 0.4 millimeter line, which makes it a Western extra fine or a Japanese fine on my Richard Bender line width chart, which you can find linked in the description below. And for our quote, And for some reverse writing, it's a touch on the scratchy side, much thinner, and it's actually running out of ink. And for some quick writing. Yeah, no issues whatsoever keeping up. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? I have to admit that I didn't expect much from this pen. But it is extremely well made, solid, well balanced, comfortable, inexpensive, and versatile. If you have a use for a fountain pen and pencil combination, for nine bucks this pen will work very well for you. The pencil isn't endless, but to be fair, Magon never advertised that it was an endless pencil at least in the online sales I've seen. If you add the bag of 10 pencil tips, the pencil will last a long, long time. I know I don't have a use for this pen, but Wynn is waiting patiently to get it back because she's been using it constantly for the last couple of weeks. Let me know in the comments in what situations you might find a fountain pen pencil combination like this to be useful. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And you can join as a member of my channel as well for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section, and you'll get cool emojis, badges, sneak peek unboxing videos, as well as instant access to my videos the moment I post them. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you. watching and that's all she wrote I made this